Hey everybody, it's Eric Hayden in the garden this evening. If you're like us here in Eastern North Carolina, you've been extremely dry and hot here. Over the last couple of weeks, it seems like we've gone from having too much rain in 2018 into this past winter to not enough rain over the last few weeks. In fact, if you look at my areas of the lawn that are not irrigated, if you listen really carefully, you'll probably hear that crunching sound. Anywhere I don't have irrigation, uh, we're getting pretty dry so I want to do a video on some of the watering you can do for your roses now keep in mind this is going to depend on where you live your soil type how hot the weather is and your um, exact climate conditions are you getting a lot of rain or not and this will also change based on what you want from your garden I'm an exhibitor. I like to grow um, rose bushes that are really tall and I'm looking for the best blooms as I can get. So I'm going to be watering a little bit more frequently than a normal gardener will. So I'm going to mention what I do. Leave some of your questions or comments uh, in the comment section below. What do you do? What things do you do differently based on the weather? One of the things I like to determine is how much I'm watering exactly. So to do that, I've got a four gallon bucket and I'll just fill it up with my hose and see how long it takes. On average, it takes about 45 seconds to fill up this bucket. And I usually aim for uh, between three and four gallons of water per bush when I'm watering. So I'll actually go out to the garden, water around each bush and actually set a timer. So around 30 seconds or so, I usually stop. That's when I'm getting my three or three to four gallons of water per bush. You'll be amazed uh, as you water. This is Jewel Grace here. Uh, I pulled back the mulch the other day to apply some of the uh, long-term slow-release fertilizers. I haven't put the pine straw back yet, but I'll give it about 30 seconds. We're about two minutes and 19 seconds into this video I'm taking. And again, you'll just be amazed how much water you can get out of 30 or 40 seconds of watering. So not only does this help me water exactly how much I need, but it keeps me from watering too much. And with my sandy soil, the too much is not so much that I'm going to drown the bush, it's that I'm wasting water. So a good 30 second soaking for my um, PSI or my pressure level is good. Um, you can see this is filled up the drip line around the rose itself. I'm about the 30 second mark and I'm gonna stop and then we're good for that. So how often do I water? Again, if I have a good soaking rain, then maybe just once a week in addition to that good soaking rain. If it's been quite dry like we have been recently, uh, then I'll do it much more frequently. Two to three times per week, we've had temperatures in the 80s and 90s and haven't had a lick of rain. So I'll water out here two to three times a week. That is my soil type, sandy soil. It, the water goes through it very quickly and I'm looking for a, a exhibition type roses. If you're a regular gardener and you're just trying to keep the, the roses going, my recommendation would be once a week, again, 30, 40 seconds per bush, depending on how many uh, gallons that you're getting out of that end of the hose. And that's good, especially uh, if you get a heavy rainfall, then maybe you don't have to water that week. So it's all gonna depend on what you're looking for uh, once a week. If you don't get a heavy rain, if you get a good soaking rain, then you don't have to worry about it. If you're an exhibitor and you want the best bushes you can get, the best blooms, then you're gonna be watering a couple times a week. And again, that's gonna vary not only on what you want, but your soil type. If you've got clay soil, then maybe you're not having to water quite as frequently. The other thing you need to keep in mind, these are mature bushes, so they can take a little bit of dryness in between. If you have things like pots, depending on the size of the rose bush, you're gonna to have to do it a little bit more frequently. On the right is a maiden rose. This was just planted in the springtime. Doesn't have a lot of roots to it, so perhaps every couple days I have to keep that watered. Uh, this is a rose that came bare root in the spring well-developed root system. In fact, if you look very, very carefully, you can see the roots are actually coming out of the bottom of the plant. During heat that gets into the 80s and 90s, I've got to water at least once a day with those pots because the root system is so developed. So again, watering is going to depend on what exactly you're looking for, how hot or dry it's been, your soil type, and again, if you're getting um, rain from other nature or not. So kind of keep that in mind in terms of your watering needs. One other thing I'm gonna point out is time of day. We're here in the evening. 
it's just about seven o'clock here in eastern north carolina so when i water in the evening i am not getting any water on the leaves as best i can i'm trying to water right around the base of the rose itself i don't want any water on the leaves because that's where you can get some black spot and some disease the only exception is during hot spells like this if i wake up early enough i will actually go out there and water in the morning when i do that i actually do wet the leaves down the bushes like that um, gives them kind of a cooling off effect but sometimes it also helps with uh, disease and also insects a little bit later i'm going to do a video on something called spider mites uh, you can get these they can really creep up on you especially in hot dry conditions like we've had recently this is let freedom ring if you look at those leaves notice how they're kind of a lighter shading of yellow in some areas if you flip the leaf over i'm seeing, seeing some spider mites creep into my garden and that is one thing um, that can help with that is watering on the underside of the leaves and the bush itself so all about the time of day if you're doing the evening you want to keep that water off the rose bush itself if you're doing in the morning it's been hot and dry go ahead and give your plant a little soaking as i leave you with a tour of the rest of the garden leave your comments below our watering needs are going to vary depending on where we live if you're down in florida and you're like here in eastern north carolina you've got sandy soil yeah you're going to have to water more frequently if you're up north and you've got clay soil that holds in that water it's going to take a little bit less time to do so so i'll leave you with a, a picture of the a video of the garden Leave your comments below. I'd like to hear what other folks do in their own backyard.